Hey what is up everybody, so Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra just received its monthly security update. I have a Snapdragon S21 Ultra which received the update just yesterday in April. Samsung is getting so much good with the updates. So what's new with the update, that's the main point. I have attached a change log somewhere here, you can pause the video and check it out. It is about 1100 megabyte in size and it mostly focuses on device stability and camera improvements. With the Apple update, my device was working fine, but it had some lag, especially with the camera. But now, after the recent update, camera is much smoother, and also the animation of One UI has been significantly improved. This thing was also pointed out by iSinvas on Twitter, where he was demonstrating the smoothness of animations with One UI 3.1. Samsung is constantly trying to improve the experience of One UI on its devices and with this latest update, S21 Ultra has improved a lot. But still a lot of people are complaining about the heating issues with the device especially when using the camera. I myself tested this thing with April update and the device heated a lot. But with the recent update, it still heats up while using the camera but I think so the severity of the issue has been reduced significantly. If you have a Galaxy S21 Ultra, then do let me know in the comment section regarding the update if anything has improved or not. Also coming on to the last thing with the update, Samsung has improved the file sharing experience between Galaxy devices using QuickShare. As sometimes the device wasn't able to send a file successfully but with the recent update it has been fixed and now you can share files between Samsung Galaxy phones super easily. About the battery life I'll let you guys know in the community feed of the channel so make sure you subscribe. Previously with the Apple update, I was getting amazing battery life and I hope so it's still the same. So guys, this was all about the recent update on Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Do share your experience in the comment section, either you have a Snapdragon or a Xenos device. We will try to figure out what has improved and what has worsened. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.